I think Elven Path falls off a little bit when he plays Fernando. He plays a really, really good Makoa, and he's he's an aggressive guy. He likes to jump in there, he likes to get those early kills, and he likes his team to be right back behind him. But I'm wrong here. Burrito goes actually going for Makoa first. Which should, well, we think it's going to give District 69 Fernando and Ruckus as well. Let's see if they make things interesting. No, the standard picks coming out to start off this game. Wow, Charlin then will be the next pick from Burrito, likely going over to Bonka. And Cassie as well. The double damage coming through from the double bows is good for Burrito. Yeah, and you really can't expect anything different just simply because Bonker really has done very well. He, he, you know, he signs up as having a really nice Androxus, but his Shaolin's been next level. But here we go. We're actually going to see Eevee picked up. And this is strange. District 69 has played Eevee a total of one time. Once they've played Eevee in their semis and previous. And that's remarkable, but it does give double flank to District 69, which could be the perfect thing to potentially deal with the double support coming out of Burrito. If both of these flankers get into the back line and start disrupting, it will definitely turn the heat up for the spicy team. All right, guys, who do you got? This is it, all the marbles, everything's out there. Who's gonna win? The problem here is gonna be what is Eevee able to do? And since they do not have as much experience, I, I'm gonna go Burrito. Okay, Burrito, what about for you, Vox? I'm gonna agree. They demonstrated double support draft fantastically on Ice Mines, and I have every faith the Burrito are ready to do it again. All right, guys, well, that will do it from us here at the desk. Will Burrito be the Paladins Invitational Champions, or will it be District 69 over to our casters? Thanks, Golden Boy. There's so much on the line for both of these teams. They traveled from Europe, both of them, just to come to Atlanta and play each other. They could have stayed home, but they decided to force a Game 7, and I'm sure all of us are happy that's the case. My name is Randy. This is High Res Pretty Hair. The finals of the Paladins 2017 High Res Expo Invitational are about to begin now. And Nick, they already gave the advantage to Burrito at the analyst desk. I'm really not going to make a pick because I feel that this could go either way. Both of these teams, when they're on their comfort picks, and they are now, have shown that they can go the distance. I'm looking, I'm loving Burrito's draft right now. Bird, the guy, the mastermind behind a lot of these drafts, has been here before with Titan in the final game of Game 5 of the Smite World Championship. They've let, Bur they've let District 69 get comfortable with this double frontliner, and now when all the chips are on the table, Bird, I think, on this pip, going to be so pivotal into shutting it down. Game 7 of the Paladins. Invitational begins now. D69 already on the point, and Lazy and the boys of Burrito forced back. A nice 1v1 duel up into the air. Lazy needs to find a cheap against first blood, though. The Takes aim. them down. The bow and the arrow clean it up the king of the skies but lazy will fall finally from Chipa, who blinks in as the winter witch to do her deed and now it looks like deal is in a bit of pressure here he is not going to stay up alive much longer unless moldaba can come through and he does but it's not enough to keep the big tank alive funky finding some key body blocks but bonker free firing right now into district 69 it's going to be very close here unbelievable by himself isolated on the point impel arrow is going to come out but it's not going to be good uh oh bonker still alive Perdo is going to slay bird though they need to worry about this Androxus. They cannot let it all fall. Lazy has so many things to shoot at. Will he find what he needs? Theo helps him out there. A nice hook from Theo is going to secure Perdo, but Chipa comes through to save the day. Fernando is here. He is doing damage, but that damage is minimal in comparison to that 5,500 health pool that Makoa has. And now with another hook to seal the deal, Burrito have retaken the objective 24% and claimed a little bit of stabilization. But 99% for D69. They need a very, very very small window. One team fight will secure them. This payload, the impale Ooh. off the edge of the map is not going to be good. Forced into the shield early, however, is Elven Path. A lot of crowd control. He's going to go down. Here's Bruno. He takes down Bird. Is he going to get the double? He has a reversal. He goes through the Shotland. He needs one more. Another step. He's going to shoot. Another step again. Behind the wall. They're both of them. Shotland is invisible. He cannot see him right now. Bruno hiding behind. 93% on the objective. Shot down. Shuts him down. And Burrito shuts up any non-believers. They take the first point in game seven the substitute stepping up against the superstar right now Perdo. Oh! that was an absolutely insane sparker right now impales elven path off the map 
off the map feel with the dredge anchor just securing what he loves to do so much and that's to toss people into the drink burrito esports now coming through and trying to make this a 2 lead on frog isle they know how to play this map they know how to dominate it and here's the hexafire to save them all off it will work for a moment and with perdo it'll give him the amount of time he needs to start taking down members of these burrito excuse me bonker Shooting arrows from the long distance here. Trying to find an angle, trying to soften up District 69 right now. Burrito a little bit on the back foot right now. Need to be careful. In implanted immediately to rip through this Fernando shield. Impale arrow available once again, but Burrito just really low HP right now. Good withdraw by Shaolin, Lin, also forcing the Makoa and the Fernando to take a little bit of an extra step towards his way. It's good for his offensive capabilities to stay in this back line. That way he can stay uncontested. Perdo, however, is the site of Bonker. No one has touched him. Fail with a triple kill on Makoa coming forward and zoning out everyone from D69. There's a minute and three seconds left on the clock, and they're scared to go near the hook. Momentum right now on the side of Burrito here. Dredge Anchor Suit's gonna cancel out Fernando Shield and force Immortal early. Shell Shield heals him up as well. Shell Shield coming forward. The spin is there. Everyone is a chicken and they're going down. Burrito Esports pushing this into the final payload. They want to get in another hook. By Thiel is gonna secure the deal and allow a 2-0 lead in game seven for Burrito. Bonker finding so many clutch wins in this game for Burrito. The substitute against the Superstar, finding the clutch Lights shot, out. shutting him down, and then forcing Elven Path into the drink with the Impaler Arrow. The smallest window, probably the hardest crowd control to actually push somebody off the map with. Who would have thought that you bring in a sub to the biggest event of your career? and he outperforms even the superstars in the scene already. Bonker is 10,000 damage about ahead of his counterpart on D69. And if that continues, Burrito Esports will be hoisting the trophy. It's up to D69 now to stop this momentum and to gain another capture objective and push it back. But Thiel, he's gonna continue to zone as that McCoy. And if he can find a big hook here on Unbelievable, he can pull him out of position. Ruckus wants to stay on the objective. He's got Fernando protecting him as well. Thiel biding his time, wants to find the perfect moment just shooting cannons and reloading until someone takes one step out of position there he sees it unbelievable still not on the objective so nothing has happened they haven't wanted to go to where Thiel can find a hook on them poking out everyone right now fresh oh. anchor going to miss but unbelievable poise very aggressively Moana going to be shut down by this shell shield Perdo finds nothing with his accursed arm. They've both been poked, but D69 admittedly have been poked a little bit worse. And now, if Thiel can find the hook, he can't. He goes up into the air. Perdo so clutch, but he goes down. Bonker takes down Chifo Lazy, takes down Perdo. Burrito are back in this game. 58%, another clutch stretch anchor. Jera goes down. Keeping D69 pinned in their spawn is going to be critical here because they have the composition. This double frontliner can spearhead a charge back onto the point. No Notable ultimates on the table are Hexafire right now. This is the firepower they are going to need to break Burrito. Burrito Esports are so close to capturing this objective, but D69, no, they need to stop everything happening. Thiel is the one who is keeping this alive for them. They need to focus down the turtle. Three shots in a row. Will he find the fourth? They've got to take down the pip. They've invested so much time and energy. 90% on the objective. Burrito are still there, and no one's able to get him off. Your sight fails. You heat haze popped by Sha Lin, and now he's looking for a target to aim to. The game going to be avoided. Spunky takes down. Bonker, Jera Bonker goes off on Perdo. Double kill for the sub. Can he get a triple? Bonker with the triple kill. The sub for Burrito. Cleaning things up and on a rampage. 21 streak. Two for kills. Bonker. Rips the Fernando shield down. Oh! Long range. Bonker is going what? mad right now. This man can't be stopped. Burrito with the chance to crown themselves the first Paladins Invitational Champion. What is happening right now? Bonker has not died in what feels like three games. 22 streak is unheard of. They need to shut him down. Spunky on a 19 streak as well, and Bird on a 12 streak. This is unprecedented. Paladins against D69. After taking a 2-0 lead against Burrito, they have clawed their way back here into this game to make it a 3-3 set, and they are on the precipice of going
ready to roll and hang this trophy in their room. Very aggressive right now. Perdo taking the front line with the reversal for the time being. District 69 stabilizing a little bit. Shifa trying to find pop shots. D69 is charging forward, trying to capitalize on these low HP targets. Finding two, finding three. It is not over yet, though, despite that moment of brilliance coming in by Bonker. And, of course, the stat line that is so... In uh... What? Bonker just jumped off the ledge? That was a misplay. He was trying to reposition. Just to get repositioned, maybe. Just to get back to his team right now. Instead of feeding the credits to D69, Bonker just wants to jump off the ledge and get back, respawn with his team immediately. And when you have somebody isolated like that, D69 can wait and take him down late into the game and try and get him staggered from the rest of the team. So I think that's actually strategic from Bonker. They do have plenty of time, although he could have just waited there instead of jumping into the water. But I guess goes for the fanfare, and the fans did enjoy it here as well. Field getting poked out heavily by the Fernando. He gets a next to midair shot. Thanks to Lazy, going to secure Jera and Perdo. Unbelievable follows in suit. Field still on the front line, doing so much to zone out the members of D69. They cannot get close to the damage carries. They can't touch the bit. They can't touch the Fernando. And, excuse me, the Maldamba and Fernando goes down thanks to guess who? Bonker. A lot of ultimates on the table. Everything now ready to go for Burrito. No Hexafire available. No illusory rift here. It's going to come down to the ultimates. Burrito rounding the final quarter. Bonker with another long range pick. Feel is hooking everybody and anybody he sees. This front line couldn't be started any farther. The tickets come out. Bonker on a 6 3. This could be it. Burrito Esports are looking to finish it off here, Nick. And it could be that your HRX 2017 champion is. Burrito, will you see it? Will it happen here? D69 trying to stabilize. Keith Hayes pop there. No shut down immediately. Burrito taken. Burrito Esports, your invitational champion. champion.